Hello everyone, Wes here. Um, I just got finished wrangling a bit of a weird bug and it took me a little bit to figure out what was going on so I thought I'd make a quick video just to detail this and hopefully save you some time if you run into the same bug. So the issue was that uh, we had a website that was just not loading at all on iOS 9 and it was loading for some people and we, we figured out that it was because some people were using the iOS 9 content blocker and it should normally just block the ads on the website but what was happening here is it was actually blocking the entire site so the the site just wasn't loading at all so um, my debug process and I just have one of them up here where I I sort of got it down to the test cases I have just some content on the thing and then this here if, you, if you've never seen v visual website optimizer it's just a B testing which will uh, figure out like what color buttons you can use on your website and how you should lay it out which is kind of interesting and if you want to block it that's totally fine but the website should still load uh, without it so um, I have a little test case here and I open it up on my uh, my phone right here and it just is blocked entirely so I uh, open up the uh, Safari dev tools here I open it up and it's great it tells you right here content blocker prevented frame displaying uh, dev.visual website optimizer.com forward slash blah 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 that's cool um, you go to your body here and you'll notice that they put opacity zero filter and background at first I was like well the content blocker shouldn't just block the entire website it should just stop this but what was actually happening is that the visual website optimizer code that it puts in here um, what I did is I unminified it I disobeyed do not edit below this line and I went ahead and edited it so uh, let me just comment out the that part and bring in the unminified version just so I could see what this code was actually doing and the way that it works is that when the page loads it really quickly creates a style tag so you create element style and it says body opacity zero uh, alpha opacity zero background none so what it does is just, it hides the page while it does its sort of swapping out so if it's going to change the color of button you're not going to see any flash of text which is great um, however what happens is that it hides it and then it loads this dev.visualwebsiteoptimizer.com and then uh, when it's done doing its thing it goes and runs this finish function right here which will get that style tag that was hiding everything and actually remove it so it's it's hiding the page, doing its changes, and then showing it again. But the problem was that the it would hide it. It would try to load Visual Website Optimizer. And then the call to finish, what would happen is the finish would be called inside of this script that it would load. And since that this script is blocked, it would never actually call finish. So um, that's okay. They thought about that. Um, and there's this little thing called uh, settings tolerance. Uh, which after you can set this to two, this is two seconds. Maybe you want that to be like half a second. Um, after half a second, if something goes wrong and this script doesn't load, then what should happen is uh, it should just show the initial website. It should just fall back to the regular website, which is what we want in the case of a, a content blocker. We just want the regular site to load and it doesn't look like we can do any AB testing on this particular person. However, um, it just wasn't running at all because um, you can see right here setting timeout vwo code dot finish it was going to call finish but it never set the variable f which i found out that is called finished if it's set to true then it will actually go ahead and show the website but F was never getting set to true, which meant that the website was never actually loading because I'm assuming inside of this script again, that F variable is being set to true. So um, unfortunate to, for us. So uh, what all a quick fix is all you have to do is just, um, well, I can go back to here and you can just take this if statement out, which will just make sure that after two seconds is just going to remove it entirely, regardless of if it worked or not. So. I gave that a save and uh, I'm going to go up to my content blocker here and give it a refresh and you can see that after that 500 milliseconds or after if I jack it up to two seconds of loading it probably shouldn't be that high but you'll see that it's blank 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 and then it actually shows up after two seconds um, because it's it's still being blocked which is okay um, you can see it in your console here 
but at least the people can actually see the website. So uh, hopefully you won't lose as much time as I did on that. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.